I chose this field based on just immediate attraction. To me, holding a drill and entering the middle ear is the most beautiful thing you can ever do. I like the balance between having a relationship with your patients, but also being able to do surgery. The satisfaction you get from seeing a patient after you've solved any of their problems is uh, an indescribable feeling. I'm Jerry Zotz, the program director for the residency program here at Northwell. The field of otolaryngology is very special because you're able to take care of everybody. I think Northwell is really unique, and it's unique because it straddles this city versus suburban life, uh, and it really gives you a glimpse of the diverse population that lives here. The otolaryngology program here at Northwell, it's a five-year program. It comprised of mainly two institutions, Long Island Jewish, on this side with the Children's Hospital and on the, the other campuses in Manhattan with Lenox Hill Hospital and Manhattan Ioneer. It's a great mix to train residents. The number of cases and the variety of cases that they have here, they're going to get the full experience of all aspects of laryngology. Even though it's one combined department at two campuses, both rank very highly in U.S. News and World Report. Both have really exemplary faculty members that are dedicated to training, dedicated to advancing otolaryngology. We have two residents per year, which is probably one of the smallest programs in the New York area. But I think what's important to keep in mind is that that actually gives you a much more individualized approach. And I think that's really the next era in education is how do you cater education to specific residents' needs. And to me, having that huge faculty to resident ratio is really what makes the difference. In both departments, we have about a combined 40 full-time faculty members, both at LIJ and at Lenox, that participate in resident training. The residency program here at North Royal Health has been an amazing experience. I've had a great experience at both campuses, and the faculty have been super supportive. Also at Lenox Hill, it's really nice to be able to work in Manhattan. It's very urban, it's exciting, but then you also get to work at LIJ, which is more of a suburban environment, so you get a different patient population. It really allows the residents to have uh, significant exposure to all types of people and understand what their needs are and, and really develop a great framework for developing their own practice in the future. One thing that I thought was really important was I wanted to have a very diverse set of faculty who are well trained in all the subspecialties in otolaryngology. We have pediatric otolaryngologists, we have head and neck surgeons, we have rhinologists, skull based surgeons, we have laryngologists. We do it all. At Northwell, pretty much every specialty in otolaryngology is represented, and you have multiple attendings where you can learn different techniques within the same specialty. I think mentorship is something that's really organic. And I think the great thing about the faculty is that we're recognized literally around the world. The faculty both at LIJ and at Lenox are really enthusiastic teachers. They will take the resident through the case, allow the resident to be the surgeon with very good supervision and oversight. We really take a lot of pride that they're doers. They get to do the operation. They get to participate actively with the patient. We get to start in the OR very early as a PGY1. I get to go to the OR more often than I ever thought. So I feel my surgical skills have really improved since I started this program. At Northwell, we have so many amazing resources. One of the things that we have is a bioskills training center, which is right across the street. And it's really state of the art. Plastic surgery training, uh, temporal bone dissection courses. We have a boot camp that we run there early on so the residents can learn how to take care of ENT emergencies. In the same lab, we have uh, the ability to teach them robotics and endoscopic skull-based surgery. And it's a nice, really nice experience to kind of tie off all the uh, surgical skills that you learn in the operating room in the uh, lab. One of the unique opportunities that we have here is that we have our own pediatric hospital so that we get good training from the pediatric aspect. Cohen Children's Medical Center is actually directly attached to LIJ, but it's a freestanding children's hospital. It's a level one trauma center for children. They have their own dedicated pediatric operating rooms, and the pediatric service is incredibly strong. And this is also a place where you can interact with other pediatric subspecialties, including uh, gastroenterology and neurology, neurosurgery. Having its own intensive care unit, a pediatric intensive care unit, is also very important in learning how to manage those patients and the neonatal intensive care unit uh, similarly. One of the important things for residents is to gain confidence. And I feel that the program that we have will give them that ability because they're going to be able to see 
just about any type of procedure that exists in otolaryngology, they'll be able to see it here and experience it here. I think that we give them enough breath to really have a very good understanding of who they want to be, exposure to all areas of otolaryngology, so that they can make an informed decision, come out as an incredibly competently trained surgeon because we have a huge volume of cases. There's also a very good research opportunity. At the Feinstein Institutes for Medical Research, you have the opportunity to work with a number of different research scientists there, and we have the infrastructure to allow these residents to participate at any level. So for instance, they can come into my research lab and study autoimmune hearing loss. They may look at laryngeal papillomas or HPV-related cancers and go into the lab and look at those factors. Lee Smith does 3D bioprinting, where they bioprint cells into a scaffold and embed them in rabbits for tracheal reconstruction with a long-term intent of bringing this into humans. So that changes the dynamic of medicine. It's not just, okay, we're just doing our textbook surgery. We're changing how we deliver care. I've been to many other New York programs, and we have attendings and residents come in to our own program to visit. And the one thing they're always impressed with is our freestanding hearing and speech building. And it is truly impressive. I think it's beautifully made. I think architecturally it's a beautiful space to work in. At LIJ we have the speech and hearing building where we get to do resident clinics. So it's very independent, but we have Dr. Zotz who helps us seeing the patients and making sure we're making the correct diagnosis. We have a full range of audiologists, full range of speech pathologists, where they take care of the pediatric population as well as the adult population. The quality of life as a Northwell resident for me has been great. So I get to live in Manhattan and it's only a 20 minute commute to Lenox Hill and I drive to LIJ and it's also only a 20 minute commute. You can kind of choose your lifestyle. You can be a suburban person if you want to do that, but you can also be a city person. So I think that that uh, puts it in a unique position and not compared to other programs. In this program, you can have a very robust social life, but also, you know, work really hard and have a really great, well-rounded training experience. I personally have trained residents for over 20 years. Uh, Jerry Zotz, the program director, double that number. I enjoy teaching. Um, I've been doing it for many years. Uh, the thing I enjoy the most about working with the residents is their enthusiasm. This program allows the opportunity for growth. So we provide all the support and none of the pressure. We poise you to go into academic medicine if that's what you want. I think we poise you to go into private practice if that's what you want. It's hard to encapsulate in words the type of growth I've had because just because I've grown in so many different ways. I'm starting to become proficient in the field that I have chosen to pursue for the rest of my life. So um, it's a really great feeling.